Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I apologize for being extremely irregular this semester. But this video isn't about math. It's about talking and being real. Uh, after this video, I encourage you to, to comment and uh, I will make a community post about this and then we can discuss some important things which aren't just important for me but, but more important for other people as well. So, wh what's my excuse? Why, why ha have I been so irregular? It's because I've been stressed this semester academically and socially. Academically, I'm doing two physics and two math classes and that's that's not all i'm also doing other classes socially i'm just back to where i started you know i just broke off with my friend groups it's, it's been extremely unstable this semester it's been extremely unstable that's all i'll say two physics courses i'm doing quantum introduction to quantum and analytical mechanics two math courses i'm doing differential geometry and matrix groups both of my physics courses are fine they're a-okay you under I understand everything. I've done quantum before, so it's 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 extremely helpful to have a to have a head start. Analytical mechanics is is fine. I I kind of like messed up my second exam, but but more more or less like I'm I'm doing pretty fine in that class. Nothing to worry about. Differential geometry, the homeworks and the, the structure of the class. I'm not the I, I'm not the most interested in. I didn't I didn't really like that. For differential geometry but it's fine this is also manageable I, I would say matrix groups i kind of did it early i was supposed to uh, do it later maybe junior year i'm a sophomore now uh, the professor is an expert in the topic there, so, you know, there was more reason to take this class but i don't have some uh, abstract algebra experience that's that's one of the areas that's kind of, you know, being a, a little painful at doing this class. My exams and homework scores are pretty bad. That's that's the big challenge here. So to give you some examples, out of 95, this was the second exam. I got a 44. Now, if you, if you say the, the exam was hard, I'll say the median was 60 with a standard deviation of 12. So even even then, I'm I'm, I'm, I'm pretty below the median by about one standard deviation now one common theme i've noticed is the graders in math are tough graders i mean they want they want justification for every small thing even if you write something they, they want more cases to be included for you know fine i i get that i mean that, see that's why i don't i don't argue with them because they're right they're smart grad students they're, they're right with you know the, the the how much rigor i should have but it's kind of it's kind of upsetting whenever i open to, to see what what great what what points I got on the homework, it's upsetting. And this theme has also been for the differential geometry class that I'm in. I think differential geometry is more decent this semester than matrix groups, for obvious reasons. But this is this has been the theme, and it's it's kind of painful. I'm not gonna lie. So the the main idea this is this is not a rant about my life. So I'm sorry if you think that way, but here's, here's what's interesting. This is what I want to discuss with you all. What makes someone a math major? Is it, is it, is it these grades? Because clearly I, I, I'm doing, I'm doing pretty bad in them. What, what really makes someone a math student? Let's assume that, you know, if we agree that I am, I am a good math YouTuber. Then am I a good math student? Because if you if you just say that grades are important, and you know there should be people say you know grades don't matter or whatever, they do matter to to demonstrate how much you know. Grad schools really care about grades and stuff. I mean this difference is like it's sizable. I I myself am concerned. Even if someone who you know is not really doesn't care much about grades. Even that person would probably have done, he would have been in the standard deviation, not under it. Then am I, that's, that's the question. And then am I a good match student? What really makes someone a match student? Is it the grades? What is it? I would say that I am understanding in matrix group, in differential geometry, I understand 
like all of all of what's going on because i have the previous experience matrix groups also i understand 95% 96% of what's going on i'm sure i i know this because you know when i've been brainstorming and 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 stuff it's i've also talked to the professor you know about ideas how to approach questions on homeworks and i seem to have the right idea most of the time what's been really hard for me this semester is the question of grad school you know maybe not because if 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 they're going to care so much about grades and if 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 math is something that i'm not i'm not meant to do again the question of what am I, what makes me a math student am i really a math student or am, am i just pretending to be one cuz i'm doing well on youtube which is also an assumption because i don't want to assume that just cuz i have 1000 subscribers makes me a good youtuber that's the same argument as saying anyone who gets good grades is a, is is a good math student that's the that's the the central premise of this problem e- even if not grad school industry internships but i i've had bad luck with those so i i was really concerned about my future this semester and i will be i think until i graduate from here i've also considered dropping the math major because of the question that am i even meant to do this i've i've met the the good math students the people who who also do well who who love the subject of course but also do well on these exams they conform to a certain personality type that you know those are the people who can be stuck in their room for the end of the world not caring much and and their mathematical output is three times better than than what i can come up with So that's what I'm saying I'm clearly not a genius but should I suffer in this field should math be this hard or should 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 the course structure be so punishing that that you you just deter people who are not Sheldon Coopers This is this is this is what I fail to understand I would appreciate your feedback your your comments whatever you want to say because this is not about me this is I'm giving an example of of me I'm I'm being real with you guys I will put out a community post and feel free to comment under this video but I I, I really want to know because I I even cuz if if you guys feel that maybe I'm not a good match student because of these grades then maybe you if you think I'm a fraud just cuz you know I I got the the subscribers on YouTube by hook or by crook please feel free to unsubscribe there is no compulsion this is a this is a free world but math for me has is been this this hard love that i i i appreciate i i i want to i want to know, know more about it but the everything about it in terms of the the formal structures have been punishing if not unpleasant with this i end my video feel free to comment and under the video and in the community post and stay tuned for more content i will make videos wh- when and and how it's possible for me don't lose hope this channel is still there i'm not going anywhere peace out see you later